So we all know that pixel art is a form of digital art characterized by the use of small distinct square shaped pixels to create images. This actually dates back to the early days of computer graphics and video games when artists had to deal with restricted graphical capabilities and strict pixel limitation. Although pixel art has actually become a thing as more and more persons have adopted it into things like murals, animations and even drawing, breaking the bounds of pixel art's restriction of just being a popular form that existed only within the game industry. And creating pixel art doesn't come cheap, especially when you have to experiment and make sure that you have the perfect shape, the perfect color and composition at specific places. But today we have a wonderful and free solution that allows you create this thing super easy in Blender. And this is called the Pixel Art Renderer by Lucas Rodell. Lucas Rodell was inspired by the amazing art by Merzaka and he has decided to create a very tiny, simple and lightweight EV add-on that allows you to render any 3D object in your scene as pixel art. And this simple and lightweight EV renderer is super easy to work with as it literally needs no documentation at all. So for those who would like to take a look at this, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can start exploring with the pixel art renderer. And to get started with this in Blender is super easy as with Blender simply opened right here, all you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and install the add-on. This add-on originally is made for Blender 3.3 but I've noticed that if you're using any version of Blender at all above 3.3 this also works. So once you have this ready, click on the bugger menu and save your preference. Now once you save the preference, if you tap N on the keyboard, you would notice right here that we have the pixel renderer. And to get things going, first off, let's make sure that we have EV and then we're going to click on render setting. Now once you do that, automatically you notice that your camera adjusts and we can now click on create slash reset material. Now once we do that, we are ready to go. I'm just simply going to select the camera, press zero on the keyboard to switch to the camera view. Now if we proceed to drag out and switch over to the shader editor, if we have the object selected, we can click on the material drop down and select the pixel at simple. Now once we do that and then we go over to render and fire up the rendering, you would see that automatically we have a pixel art. Now if you like to change the settings on your camera, of course you can. So we can have this selected, go over to where we have our rendering. Then I'm going to set this to 740 by 740. Test this out one more time and you can see what we have right here. So automatically you can start seeing that we have the pixel thing going. But if you like to play with the lighting, of course you can. If you proceed to select the light and you move this around, this in itself will also affect the rendering of the image that you have. But what if you like to make changes to this? So what you need to do is select the object and then go over to the shader section and you can make changes based off the colors that you have. Originally, the creator already mentioned that you can download color strips which you can use as guides just in case you're thinking about making some changes to the colors that you're working with, especially if you're working with multiple images, this would definitely come in handy. One thing which I think you need to do once you apply a material is to rename this. So I'm just going to name this box. And once we set this as box, we can now go ahead and create something else. Once we have this here, we can now create a new material. It is very paramount that once you have the very first one selected, that you change the name. So we're going to select the second one and click on create slash reset material. And this is automatically going to create another material for us. So to assign this material to the monkey, we'll go right here and then we can select this. Now, once you do that, you can also notice that if we proceed to take a look at the render, we have the same colors. So we're just simply going to go ahead and make some changes to the colors just to have a bit of variation, create some multiple objects around the scene, and then we are good to go. Something else which is also very interesting to take a look at is if you're thinking about lighting, of course you can. So at this point, this can use as many lights as you want, but originally the creator already made a three point lighting system and also multi light material system which you can use. So all you need to do is just click on the try light setup and this is going to set up three point light systems which you can use to get things going. And for those who are thinking about playing with the line width, you can definitely do this by going over to the freestyle section and you can play with the line thickness. This will come in very handy if you like to take off or add line thickness to your model. So for those who are interested in making pixel art or maybe you have animations you like to render as pixel art, 
then this add-on would save you a ton of time. The whole thing here is you can work directly with Eevee on your viewport and you can get the most out of it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. A huge shout out to Lucas for making this add-on available and also making it for free. And for those who like to grab this, link to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out. And of course if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.